Welcome to Highline Excel class number 34. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, Week 7, Business 214. Hey, if you're enrolled in the class, just go to our Week 7 website. Hey, we're continuing our discussion of if uh, functions and formulas. In our last example, we did accounts receivable customer analysis using if and or not. Here we're going to do a payroll example. And here's the setup. When you're doing payroll, and we all have paychecks, and uh, we have taxes taken out. There are FICA taxes. There are um, Social Security amount. The tax rate is going to be 6.2%. Med Medicare, 1.45. And the ceiling, the ceiling changes every couple of years. Right now it's about 105000 a ceiling is what is going to give us a bunch of trouble here. And so we're going to have to figure out a formula because I don't want to calculate each paycheck each week by hand. I want to figure out a formula that will deal with this ceiling. Here's how a ceiling works. An employee is only taxed up to 105000 So you can see this employee right here, 115, they don't owe any more taxes, right? So they're not subject to Social Security. They're still subject to Medicare. Now, what about um, this person right here, 36000 Even after this paycheck, they're way under the limit. Now, here's a visual to help you with figuring this out. And there's lots of situations where you have ceilings. I'm going to blow this up a little bit. And here's how a ceiling works. Here is the ceiling. That is the maximum taxable earnings for Social Security. Every paycheck, every here's our paychecks, right? We keep getting these paychecks, and it keeps the begin cumulative, the earnings that have been taxed so far keeps them increasing. So if I come here and type 6900, when I hit enter, watch, it's going to add it there. So that's our uh, cumulative total for the year. So we're still way under the ceiling. Now, uh, our next amount is going to be 9,000. And watch what happens right here. Oh, we're still uh, totally under the limit. What that means when you're under the limit is that each one of your paychecks, I don't like a paycheck like that, but each one of these, the whole amount was taxed, right? So this current paycheck, we're still under the ceiling, so all 9,000 is taxed. But watch this. Some during, if you make enough during the year, there is only one paycheck where only part of your earnings are taxable. So the amount is 23100 That's your current paycheck. And watch this. It goes from under to over. So when I hit enter, now it's 106. We're above. The question is, is your whole paycheck tax taxed? The answer is no, because this ceiling, this 23000 it actually, there's two parts to it. The, ta the part that is going to be taxed is whatever the distance from here to here is. So I'm going to say equals the ceiling minus whatever our begin cumulative was. That was before this paycheck. So it's a spatial thing. Think about it that way. Here's the ceiling. We're just filling up the tank. But this is the moment before we jumped over. So here's the ceiling minus this. Boom. That's how much. Whoops. Uh, that's how much of our earnings are taxed. And we can do this one in our head. The amount that is not would be this minus this. And if we add those together, I better get exactly the paycheck. So really, when we get to that part of the formula, remember, if it's a partial uh, taxable earnings for this paycheck, not the whole thing, it's always the ceiling minus whatever you made cumulatively before this paycheck. Let's scroll up here. And here's our uh, information down here. I'm actually going to zoom in a little. Now I'm going to start, uh, and you can pick whichever one. Usually start up here, but sometimes there's one in particular that might be easier to, uh, to help you get through the concepts of building the formula. I'm going to start right here. Actually, I'm going to start right here. We have two um, ceilings. We have a Unemployment is 7,000. So you can see most of the people, this person is still as under. This person only has $1 left to tax. Okay, So for unemployment, this column right here, I have the ceiling there. For Social Security ceiling, 105,000, I have it there. And notice the labels on the assumption table are set up horizontally. 
these are set up horizontally too. So we don't have to do one, two different formulas. We can use mixed cell references and use one formula that will work in all cells. I'm going to start right here. Equals if. And the first test is, hey, before we even got to this particular paycheck, this is the beginning cumulative before this paycheck, can we just ask, and uh, is that greater than or equal to our ceiling? Now, why do we say equal to? Because if this is exactly at 7,000, then and anything above, what is our tax? Our, I mean, our taxable earnings are going to be comma, and the value if true is going to be a zero. Now, I didn't do the cell references here, and we want to think about these. This begin cumulative for unemployment. When we copy over to this column, do we still want it locked on that? You betcha. So the dollar sign has to be in front of the column, right? But do we want it locked on this particular begin cumulative when we go down or up? No way. It has to be relative across the row. So dollar sign E6. Greater than or equal to, and oh, but what about this one? Let's put our cursor there. When I copy it down throughout this whole column, does the whole column need to be looking at the ceiling for unemployment? You betcha. So when I copy it across the rows, across the numbers, I need it locked. So I'm going to hit the F4 key there. Ah, but when I copy it over this direction, notice I want the 7,000 to move to the uh, ceiling for this particular column. So no dollar sign in front of the G. All right. We got the first if. Now, comma, and the value of false. We have to do a second if. And the, the, the next uh, if to do is, hey, how about the end cumulative? And I'm going to lock this across the columns. If that end cumulative is still less than or exactly equal to the ceiling, see if it exactly went up to the penny on the ceiling, then our still our whole paycheck is still taxable. If it's less than, then of course the whole current paycheck is taxable. Now I have to F4 on that one. And now I comma, and what's the value of true? I have to scroll over and get the whatever the, the gross paycheck is for uh, this particular pay period. So for that employee, it's that cell right there. And when we copy over to the Social Security column, we still need to be locked on this gross. But when we go up and down, we don't want it locked. So dollar sign in front of the column. So when we go over here, it's locked. But when we go up and down, it's not. All right, you ready? Comma and the value of false. Well, get this. There are only three possibilities. Your taxable earnings for this pay period are zero. They are uh, the whole paycheck or they're part of them. So one of the reasons I set up this formula this way, I did the first, the, the two easy ones first. I did way over, and then the end is, this one is still under. So there's only one possibility left. So we just, in parentheses, remember, ceiling, and lock it um, in front of the row, minus whatever the begin cumulative was. And lock that one in front of the column. Close parentheses. That's why we did that little example before. So when we got to this part of the formula, we already knew that it was ceiling minus begin cumulative. Close parentheses on that one. And notice it's green, just like in our last video, when we have not completed, when we're using multiple ifs and we haven't completed the last parentheses, it's still a color. I'm going to type another parentheses. As soon as it's black, you know you got it right. Control Enter. And now I'm going to click and drag it down. And click and drag it up. And then I'm going to grab this whole column. And look at that. It got that one right. It got that one right too because it's the whole paycheck. Whole paycheck there. Whole paycheck there. The, oh, this person's uh, way over. And there's no person that got a, a partial here in this column here. But there it is. We got our uh, using two ifs because there was three possibilities and now with one formula and we could have this as a template right every single week automatic it'll calculate the taxable earnings given ceilings all right we'll see you next video